and Odessa family is searching for ways to keep their mom's legacy alive. She spent decades growing a botanical garden, but since she passed away, the future of the garden is in limbo. ABC Action News reporter Robert Boyd has more on how the family is reaching out to the community for help. Well, as you pull down the driveway, sometimes you're not sure if you're entering a home or a botanical garden. My friends have called it the jungle. Man, you live in a jungle, Mike, I know, and it's only gotten twice as thick. Stefan Hart has a lot of fond memories growing up in his childhood home of Odessa. His mom, Eileen, started adding new plants in 1975 and never stopped. There are now more than 1,000 different species. I could walk around the yard with my mom and ask her, what's that, what's that blooming, what's the purple thing? And that's why I became a botanist. Eileen was well known in the Tampa Bay gardening community a member of more than a dozen plant societies and a graduate of the first class of Hillsborough County Master Gardeners in 1981. I think in excess of 20,000 hours of volunteer work over her lifetime, just going and teaching other people how to grow plants, passing on that passion for just watching a plant grow and bloom. This past June, Eileen unexpectedly passed away due to a heart attack. Her husband Robert said every time he walks through the two acre property, he feels her presence. Just uh, looking up and thinking that she's going to walk in the door any minute, all sweated down. She created an Eden for us to live in. But with Robert now in his 80s and their children all grown up and moved out, the focus shifts on how to keep Eileen's legacy alive. We can't lose this beautiful botanical garden. There's been 46 plus years of love and devotion put into this garden that we have to maintain it in some fashion or form. So the family is hoping to partner up with the community whether it's used for professional research, school field trips, or just a public place to plant. They want to keep the garden thriving, but they need help. I think she would love for this to be a teaching facility. I feel her spirit is here. I feel she's happy with what we're trying to do. For information on how to help, go to abcactionnews.com. In Odessa, Robert Boyd, ABC Action News. After taking a